Hello, this is Bob from TechGeek SG. Today we have the TA890GXE motherboard from Biostar. Firstly, over here, this is the AM3 socket with that supports the AM2, uh, AM3 processor that supports the AMD Phenom 2, Athlon 2, and even up to the current Phenom 2 X6 processors. Um, it, uh, it supports the Hypo Transport 3.0, which uh, does a 5.2 giga transfers per second. And also, um, it's quite a cool design over here, as you can see. Over here, we have your north bridge and your south bridge. You can you get a quite a quite a stylish hit hit sync for your both your north and the south bridge. And over here, we have the BioStar branding itself. And other than that, oh, the maximum support of TDP of CPUs is up to 140 watts. So basically, uh, any processors on the market right now uh, is supported up to even the 140 watts 965 of the C2 revision or C2 stepping you may call ok overall this is a this is an AMD 890GX board if you get uh, with a if you understand what is 890GX actually you get some uh, quite good graphics bandwidth but uh, however there are also other better um, alternatives like the 890FX so this is actually the 890GX that comes uh, maybe the second best in the whole chipset uh, of the 800C from AMD. So also it runs on the SV850 uh, which is the South Bridge. The South Bridge uh, SV850 actually supports native gigabit, uh, six, uh, SATA 6, 6 gigabit per second. So actually uh, your new SSDs will, uh, will leverage on your current SATA 6, 6 gigabit per second so that you can get the ultimate performance out of your current uh, whole system performance and other than that okay mm, let's see okay going going on to the memories we have here DDR3 memory that supports 1066 1333 or 1600 uh, if you do overclocking you can reach up to 1600 it's in dual channel so actually you get four slots of DDR3 DIMMs so if you want to put them in dual channel you actually put the same kind of uh, RAM or DDR3 RAM into the same colors and um, it supports up to a total of 16 gigabytes of memory so you actually can put your 4 gigabyte modules in each slot uh, which is quite new uh, but uh, I recommend just for the 2 gig so you get a total of 8 gigabytes of RAM in the whole system if you are you have the budget to do that what else mm. uh, okay moving on to the IGP Okay, the IGP integrated on this motherboard is actually the over here as you can see is the 42 4290 from ATI. It supports 10.1 uh, Direct X and Unified uni, unif, Unified Video Decoder 2.0 and Hybrid Crossfire X support. Basically, if you are doing Crossfire X, you are going to pair. You're going to put a 5490. Uh, I mean for 54. 50 into the PCI Express X16 slot to enable your uh, hybrid crossfire via your IGP the 4290 as well as the um, 5450 going pairing together to give you a, a better performance out of your uh, whole system and what else okay there's actually a side port 128 megabytes which is a dedicated VRAM uh, on board this uh, motherboard that supports give an additional 128 megabytes of uh, memory for the IGP itself which is the ATI 4290 um, let's see what else okay SATA wise you get a gigabit six uh, gigabit uh, SATA 6 gigabit per second I'm sorry okay uh, that's basically it and for the sound we have ALC 892 ALC uh, Realtek ALC 892 it does a 7.1 channel audio out and Let's move around the motherboard and take a look. Over here, we have two PS2 ports. They are for your uh, keyboard and mouse. Then we have a SP diff. There's a digital out. Other than that, we have a HDMI uh, connector. Basically, this HDMI port actually can do your uh, other than your video. It can do your audio out, your high definition audio out directly through the. HDMI cable to your TV itself. 
So there's actually only a need for one cable to connect to your TV if this is the home theater PC you are building at. Over here we've got a um, DVI, DVI out, the VGA out. Then we have uh, these red USB ports are actually just normal USB 2.0. Uh, don't get um, mistaken that these are USB 3.0, but these are these are only I. Okay, I need to tell you that these are only USB 2.0. And other than that, there's a firewire port. Then we have a SATA, a e SATA port, which is also um, yeah, it's also a, a USB combo. And we have gigabit LAN, uh, two more USB, making a total of four USB ports. And we have our seven point one channel audio over here. And what else? Coming on, coming on to the slots, expansion slots. We have a PCI Express two point X one. Then we have a PCI Express X16 for your graphics card and just two normal legacy um, PCI slots or PCI 2.2 Over here we have four SATA connectors These are SATA 6 gigabit native and one more over here Then over here you have an IDE connector and this is your 24 pin motherboard connector and over here this is the 4 pin motherboard connector over here at the front, we have a USB front panel connector uh, and two more, actually six small USB making a total of 10 USB if, you, if your case supports up to that many and the front panel, front panel connectors we have also your audio out for your HD audio then we have actually the switches for the power and the reset button. If you are overclocking, you may find these buttons quite useful. Actually, uh, this is it for the whole board. Okay, moving on. Okay, uh, based on the SB850, which is the south bridge of this whole motherboard, it actually does rate, uh, which is a random, uh, I mean redundant array of individual disks. It's a rate 0, rate 1, rate 5, and rate 10. Which means you can do your stripe, you can read, you can read your SSD and get a very uh, almost hundred percent performance out of your SSD, um, and supports your OS um XP, Vista, and Windows Seven. Um, basically, that's all. For accessories wise, you get three SATA six gigabit per second um, cables, and you have a Molex to SATA con power connector. Then you get this cable management um, cable management Velcro from Biostar. Then we have the drivers and utility CD uh, for your motherboard and uh, input output shoe. You may Basically, be wondering what is this over here? This is actually a remote control that comes with the Biostar TA890GXE motherboard. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside. So basically, you just get a remote control which uh which certified for your Microsoft uh certified by Microsoft for your Windows um a media center. So actually, a fully it can be used by the Windows media center PCs, and there's even batteries provided. So it's just just like what I said. This is a very good board for your home theater PCs. And what else inside? You also get the IR receiver for. If you get, if you want to use this uh, remote control, it's actually free. Uh, if you buy this motherboard itself, so if, if you are going for to get a, uh, a home theater PC, I recommend you to get a very slim case. Then put this micro ATX board in it together with your, together with the remote, and perhaps you may want to get another uh, quality sound card uh, from Creative or whatever. Then you are good to go. You got a new home theater PC coming right up and can play your blu-ray videos and whatever on your new tv thank you for more information about this product you can visit my blog at www.zoomycom.blogspot.com or feel free to email me at whysook.tagg.gmail.com thank you